children of P7 at Sandy Primary School in Glasgow, Scotland. Wish you both all the best on your wedding day. Matthew, we know you have we know you started as a standing interpreter for Slate Charity and you're a volunteer. Michael Cairns told us that you help lots at school 139 for blind children. He also told us that you did all the local planning, running around and collection for of the Russian artwork for the Otters Art Show, which was held here in our school. We also know that you coordinated all the artwork from different projects. Sveta, good luck on your wedding day. All the very best from the staff and pupils of Sandy Primary School, Glasgow, Scotland. A big thing about being an interpreter is that you have to learn not just another language, but other things. And lots of stuff they didn't have, and they didn't even know they were otters uh, when they started the very first otter art project. It was to draw otters, if Ms. MacArthur will remember correctly. Russian children were drawing otters, Dutch children were drawing otters, and Scottish children were drawing otters, as they did destroying otters. However, the Russian children didn't know what this was because the interpreters didn't have this word. It was just a very unusual creature, they don't have one uh, in that part of Russia. So he then called this the Otter School. So what I've got for you is to give a wee clap for all the work that she's put in and the idea of bringing two schools, two churches and two uh, countries together to celebrate a wedding. It's nothing like you see in the news, which is always horrible news. This is our own Happy Sunday news. So I've got a present for Miss MacArthur, which is an otter ah. and a magnet. Mm. So that keeps on an otter magnetic notebook. Fantastic. <laughs> and because it was Mrs. Buck's idea and she worked so hard to bring the two churches together to get this done, one, one for, her. for Mrs. Buck. She'll like that very much. Mrs. Buck's a list maker. And this is um, for you to give to Matthew and Sveta when they get married. So this is going to be Sandy's wedding present. It's Wild Life of Britain. You can hang it up with a wee hook thing. And um, I just want to know that I'm going to be giving this to them for you uh, to have for them to hang in the house. They'll keep that video forever. Their wedding is going to be in a cinema. So you're not even going to be on the telly. You're going to be on the screen that size. 15 metres wide, and I'm going to try and get some photos or some footage of that to bring around. But you might be all high for the first years doing this. La <laughs> <laughs> We're in the high school of the moon. But what I'll do is I'll get work to you through the boss and the other bosses. And if you want to come back, we <coughs> show at Sandy next school year after I come back. I'll be there in October for uh, four weeks or five weeks, so I'll be November onwards. So, you guys deserve a big clap. That was a lot of work, a lot of learning, choreography and the dance, getting filmed and everything. I'm very grateful. Um, on behalf of Matthew and Sveta, you'll be a big hip hip. Hip hip! Hip hip! hip, hip. <laughs>